Happy May 2 for a weekend. <clears throat> I'm just uh, in the parking lot waiting for my eldest to uh, get out of work. Excuse my tatteredness at the moment. I've been uh, working on my yards and stuff all day. A little disheveled tonight. Um, it was a good day. It was a beautiful day. Um, much cooler than yesterday. I'll bet you yesterday we were minimum 30. Probably a little bit more with the Humidex. It was crazy. But it uh, rained most of the day yesterday um, until about 2.30. And then, of course, the humidity was like a kick in the teeth. Um, and there was no way I was doing any yard work at that point. Um, however, my boyfriend's come down for the long weekend and uh, uh, we went for a really nice walk in the trails and got eaten alive by the skitters and it was all in all a really good time. Um, and today got up around 8.30 this morning and, uh, got to work. It was much cooler today. I think the radio was saying it was like, I don't know, 20, 23 or something like that, but there was zero humidity. It felt, and, and there was a breeze. So it felt much cooler, but comfortable. Um, and then all of a sudden, I guess we got outside, we got the pool up and filling and cut back some brush and cleaned up some stuff and, uh, you know, got all that packaged up and, and bagged and tied up and what have you. So everything looks much cleaner. And uh, I actually found a whole buttload of mulch um, in the back of my um, garage under a table there had to have been like I don't know maybe 12 bags give or take um, that I'd bought like three years ago I bought way too much mulch last time <laughs> and uh, figured what the hell you know it's been about three years since I've laid mulch so I put all that in the back and it looks so nice looks so clean but as I was doing that I sat down to have some of my iced coffee and a cigarette and of course once I stopped moving around I realized the temperature must have dropped at least 10 degrees it was almost cool um, but it worked out well for me. Um, I got all that done, got the pool up, got the mulch all laid in, in the backyard. Um, and I got my yards all cut, so they look really nice. And I still don't have any whipper snipper string, damn it. So I had to go in with my kitchen scissors and cut most of my edging. Um, so I got all that done except for the front yard. So I need to pick up some more mulch for the front yard. Probably, I don't know, four or five bags maybe for the front. Well, yeah, four or five bags of mulch for the front yard. And then I have to do my my trimming with the kitchen scissors because I can't get no whipper snipper string. Um, yeah, extremely productive day. It was awesome. I'm sunburnt. The likes of which I haven't been in quite some time. But it's all done and it looks fantastic and I'm wicked happy. The pool should actually be filled by the time I go to bed tonight, which is awesome. So then tomorrow morning I can, you know, throw the chlorine and stuff in and uh, throw the cover on and all that good stuff. And so in uh, about two or three days, as long as the weather's nice and, and warms the water up, the pool will be usable. So that's wicked exciting. 
So all I need to do is maybe, maybe Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It's supposed to be beautiful the rest of this week. So Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll go out and, um, pick up a couple flower pots, um, for the porches and then, um, I usually buy flowers and make up some flower pots for around my back patio and stuff. Um, and I'll get my youngest to help me with that. Um, in between classes and stuff. He usually finishes. They're supposed to do their online learning until like, I don't know, 310 or 315 or something like that. But more often than not, he's done everything by like two. So, um, I may get, I'll probably get him to help me put the pots together. He likes to do that kind of thing. Um, so that'll be something for him to do outside, which will be nice. And then I have to get my back patio set up. I need to get the, my little rug mat put down and bring out my tables and chairs and wash them and whatever but it's coming along nice I'm excited I, I am a summer bitch through and through this is my this is my this is my time of year sorry I'm trying to keep an eye out for my son um but, uh, yeah, so it was a really productive day. Felt really good. I took a nap around 2.30 or something like that for, I don't know, hour and a half, maybe. And uh, I guess around 6, I ordered a pizza for me and my boyfriend. And my eldest is at work. I'm, I'm here waiting for him now. And, uh, you know, my youngest is at his dad's for the weekend. So he'll be home probably after dinner tomorrow. I think, uh, I think his dad said he'd drop him off or, or, um, his stepmom will drop him off. Um, around, uh, after dinner, probably around 5.30 or something like that, so. Yeah, what a, what a good weekend. Hopefully tomorrow will be a bit warmer. Um, not too warm, because, oh my God, I turned my, I uncovered my AC on uh, Friday, and it was working great. It, it, you know, it was fine. I always put my ceiling fans on to kind of move it around, because... It doesn't push as well as I would like it to upstairs. Um, but I find the ceiling fans help to kind of move it around and whatever. But um, Saturday, when it was yesterday, when it was so, so humid, um, my boyfriend says to me, like, it's, it's warm in here. And he went and put his foot on uh, one of the... Um, Uh, one of the vents and said, you know, like, come, come put your foot on the vent. Come check this out. So I did. And friggin minimal air pushing through and it was warm, warm air. And the AC is on like, like the furnace is off. The AC is on and it's pushing warm air. <sighs> so, <laughs> I guess Tuesday morning, I will be phoning the AC people. I rent my central air. So, I'll be phoning them and telling them to come check their damn equipment because not my problem. I, not my thing, not my area. I'm a hairdresser who vlogs. <laughs> not touching no AC <laughs> so that'll be fun 
yeah other than that it's been a fantastic weekend probably the best weekend that I've had in a long time super productive I was outside all day today and I love to be outside when the weather is nice heck yeah sunburn be damned I don't care bring on the melanoma man you cannot make me go inside in the summertime not gonna happen it was so nice so yeah, hopefully everybody, you guys are all having a good week. You guys, like the two people that might be watching this, are having a great weekend. Um, the fireworks have started. It's, I think I said, it's it's May 2-4 weekend. And uh, the fireworks are going in full effect. They'll be going probably for the next couple of days. Heard a couple last night, but Monday is the actual holiday, so there'll be majority of the fireworks probably. Well, well, with the way things are now, I guess a lot of people aren't working. Nobody gives a damn. So, yeah, tonight, tomorrow night, probably Tuesday. Maybe a couple stragglers on Wednesday. They like to drag the fireworks out. <laughs> <clears throat> That's fine. It doesn't bother me a lick. It'll be interesting to see how Canada Day goes this year. I don't remember a lot of fireworks last year, which kind of surprised me and, and didn't at the same time. But uh, I don't celebrate the May 2-4 with fireworks and stuff. And I, I rarely do with Canada Day either. Fireworks are so damn expensive. Um, but I do have large and small uh, sparklers um, that uh, my youngest will probably play around with this year. <clears throat> He's 11, and I said to him last week, you know, you're going to stay at at your dad's for, for May 2-4. You know, come home after dinner Monday. You know, they'll drop you off Friday. And they'll drop you back home, you know, Monday after dinner kind of deal. I said, uh, I'm doing my... I do a barbecue every year for Canada Day. Um, lockdown be damned. I don't really give a shit. Um, I entertain once a year and that's it. Canada Day barbecue. Pool. Sparklers couple bevies good food good friends good laughs I, I really don't give a shit it happens every year I don't care judge me <laughs> don't care <laughs> um, but I told him you know you're welcome to you know like I said he's 11 so he can decide what he wants to do for the Canada Day weekend because most weekends most weekends he does go to his dad's so I said, you know, if they're doing fireworks and whatever, and he's got some little friends in that area um, that he's really close with and likes to horse around with, um, I said, if you want to go do that, that's fine. But if you want to stay here, I'm doing the barbecue and I'm only doing sparklers. I'm not doing fireworks. Um, the pool will be up and ready and, you know. Um... But I also said, you know, if you're here, you're outside, you know. And I tell my eldest the same thing, too. If you want to screw off for the day, I, I don't care. If you're working, great. If you're going to screw off with your buddies, that's fine. But if you're home, your butt is outside. Um, and my brother usually comes and he brings my nephew. Um, so, you know. It's a good time. And my youngest said he wanted to stay home this year and, and do Canada Day with with us, which is great. You know, it, it's nice to have everybody home on a weekend every now and again. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Sorry, my hand was hurting. I had to switch hands. Um... So yeah, it'll be a good time, you know. 
<laughs> I have a standing rule. If you're coming, bring food. And B-O-Y-B. You know, swimsuit, towel, probably a chair. Because I only have four chairs. So if there's more than four people. If more than the people that live in the house plus my boyfriend. Then bring your own damn chair. <laughs> or stand. <laughs> but it's a good time. I look forward to it. And the weather is always nice. So. On Canada Day. <sighs> so. Sorry. I'm looking around a lot. Parking lot. Lots of distractions. Um, And I hate staring at the camera. So. Yeah. Good weekend. Really really enjoyed this weekend it's it's been really really nice and busy like I, I just I love to be busy I love to have something to do I love uh, oh <sighs> I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the week outside of buying flowers and maybe putting my patio together because all the really big crap that all the big stuff's done <sighs> yeah Well, I think this will be a quick video. I don't have a whole lot to say. Nothing to bitch about today. Nothing to complain about. <clears throat> so yeah, hope everybody's having a good weekend and I hope the weather is good for everybody and hope everybody's well and productive and happy. And, uh, this video, this is, what is, what is today? Saturday? Sunday. It's Sunday. It's about quarter to ten on Sunday. So, this will probably go up, I don't know, later tonight, maybe Monday morning. So, we'll see if I get a chance to put it up tonight or not. But, anyways, to the two people who might be watching this, thank you. I appreciate you. I, I did notice um, this afternoon that I have a second subscriber, so thank you. I appreciate you. And, uh... I hope you enjoy my awkward rantings and ravings and chit-chats and all my cringiness, my looking away from the camera and <laughs> nervous giggles. And uh, yeah, have a good night and I will talk again later.